Yes, indeed, guys. Welcome back to the channel. It's Jay Jordan here. And today I'm going to recap the New York Liberty's home win against the Chicago Sky on Friday, August 11th. This was the Liberty's third matchup against the Sky this season. Um, the last time they faced them, they lost after having a 19-point lead late in that third quarter. That was back in June, early June. So this team that played today is a much different, a much more advanced Liberty team than the one that played back in June. Um, but they won this game 89-73. to 73. Um, fairly comfortable throughout. There were some moments where the lead got to about five and got to three at one point, but the Liberty were always able to push it back up to double digits without any problems. As always, guys, I'm going to touch on the quarters, quarter by quarter. I'm going to touch on the box score and the team stats, touch on some of the press conference news or press conference reaction and my thoughts. Um, as always, if you like this type of content, make sure you hit a like on the video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. And make sure you also hit that notification bell so you get notified whenever I post. All right, so the Liberty started off this game with their same core starting five. Um, they started off with Sabrina Inescu. Um, Courtney Vandersloot, Benigel Laney, Brianna Stewart, and Jonquil Jones. For the visiting Sky, they started off with um, Courtney Williams, Marina Mabry, Kalia Copper, Alana Smith, and Elizabeth Williams. One news, one note that I should say is that Steph Dolson returned from um, her injuries. Remember, she had hurt a while ago in that Atlanta game where she turned her ankle. So this was her, the first game she was cleared to play, and they said she would be on a minutes restriction. But let's start with the first quarter. Um, the first quarter came out. It was basically the John Quill Jones show. They were really feeding her on these mismatches. The Chicago Sky seemed like they wanted to switch a lot of these pick and roll actions, which ended up with John Quell um with a baby on her in the post, in which the Liberty recognized, fed the ball to her and she was able to do her work in the post early. The ball was flying around early as well. All five score starters scored, I think, before the four-minute mark left in the first quarter. All five starters had scored. Um, the As I mentioned, the defense was moving around. We were getting a lot of deflections, forcing Chicago into some tough shots early, um, forcing them to turn the ball over as well. And that ended up with us leading the first quarter with a final score of 28 to 16, 28 to 16 at the end of the first quarter. The Liberty shot 71% in that first quarter. I think they were like 13 for 13 for 15 or 13 for 16, somewhere in that range. But the Liberty shot a very high percentage, 71% in that first quarter. Um, the second quarter, I, as expected, you can't expect to shoot 71% the whole game, so the offense started to take a hit. Um, the defense was still doing this thing. The defense was still flying around, not as much as the first quarter, but the defense was still causing some disruptions early, but it started to falter a little later on in the quarter. Um, Chicago started to really abuse their size when we went small and they got in the paint. And they, and they were able to score in the paint. Courtney Williams was flying around. She was hitting her mid-range jump shot, penetrating the paint. They were getting some high-low actions, which allowed them to get some easy buckets as well. We also started turning the ball over and missing shots. They were We would miss shots. They would get, get the ball off the rebounds, go in transition, and score. They went on a 15-5 to run at one point in that quarter which cut the 26, 28 to 16 lead um, way down into like single, um, about like a three, two point lead at one point. Um, the Liberty, the, the sky ended up getting it down to about three. Then the Liberty scored a quick seven points in like 30 seconds. I think Brianna Stewart hits a three. And then as Chicago was inbounding the ball, Kayla Thornton stole it off the inbound, scored a layup. And then 
I think um, Sabrina came down and hit a jump shot. So it was a quick seven to push the lead from three points back up to 10 points. Um, but we did end up winning, um, at least still leading at the end of that quarter, 48 to 40. They did outscore us, however, 24 to 20 in that quarter. The third quarter, however, same thing. Chicago cuts into the lead. New York fights back, pushes the lead back to double digits. They would cut it down. We would push it back. And the the margin stayed just about the same. It was a very low-scoring quarter, um, 16 to 15 in that quarter. Nothing really notable in that quarter. Uh, 64 to 55 was the score at the end of the third. Kalia Copper, she was not effective tonight. Um, she got two fouls, I think, towards the end of the second. And then the third, she got another two, which forced her back to the bench. Um, she already wasn't shooting particularly well and or not even getting enough attempts up. She was also turned the ball over a little, um, a lot a lot for her and the way she's been playing as of recent. Um, but in the fourth quarter, the Liberty just started to put their, their foot on the gas they made a gap, pushed the lead to double digits, and then pushed it up again. They made it, they had a, a 21 point lead at one point, then they pushed it to around 23, 25. But then Chicago um whittled it back down a little bit. But by that time, um the, the damage had been done. The Liberty outscored them 25 to 18 in that quarter and ended up winning the game 89 to 73. Um Everybody was hitting some big shots. Kayla Thornton hit some big shots. Sabrina, Sean Quell, Brianna Stewart, Benaija, everybody contributed. Even Marine hit a big a big three. Um, everybody contributed, hit timely shots. We're getting in the passing lanes, getting some deflections. And that causes us to win another game. We just keep cranking these games out, people. I have no complaints right now. The Liberty... Anybody they play, they win. They've won the last one, two, three, four, five games. They're on a five-game winning streak, picking up big wins against teams they've lost to in the Aces, the Lynx, and the Sky. And now um, they on to the next one. So let's take a look at the box score so we can have an idea of um, how people actually participated in this game. So you can see here, Liberty won 89-273. And we'll start off with the Chicago Sky and their contributions. Um, I'll zoom in a little bit so we can get a, a little closer of a view. There we go. Um, so we got Alana Smith. She played 32 minutes, had 19 points. Led them in scoring tonight, 19 points, 6 rebounds. It was a minus 11 in her minutes, 7 for 14. Efficient um, night for her. Um, she was all over the place. She had this sky blonde. I don't even know. The super blonde hairstyle. It threw me off. I didn't know who was on the court when the game tipped off. It really threw me off. But um, that's a story for another day. Um, Elizabeth Williams, eight points, two rebounds. Nothing to write home about. Courtney Williams really was all over the place. Ten points, ten rebounds, six assists on five of ten shooting. Um, was a minus 11 in her minutes, however. Kalia Copper, as I mentioned, played 30 minutes, only had eight points on three of nine shooting, five rebounds, three assists, three turnovers, five fouls. Marina Mabry, she started off hot. She was she was taking advantage of Sabrina and sluting the paint, but then I don't know what happened. The, the defense just turned it up on her, and she ended up with 12 points on five of 13 shooting, two turnovers and four steals on um, their bench um roslyn parks oh sorry robin parks i called her roslyn i always do this robin parks three points one rebound in her 15 minutes um morgan birch no points in her minutes um i think that's ruthie hebard yeah ruthie hebard eight points she had some solomon's and six rebounds to go with it four or six shooting um, Taylor Soul only played two minutes, zero points, nothing to really contribute. And Dana Evans, she struggled five points, two of seven shooting, one for three from three. 
and one assist, minus eight, and Herman is four turnovers. They were trapping her as well when she was trying when she was running primarily point guard. So that's a big adjustment to Liberty um, had there. Looking at their team stats, they were 29 for 70 from the field, 41%. 7 for 24 from 3, at, that leaves them at 29%. Um, 88.9% from the line, 8 and 9. They had 33 rebounds, 21 assists. So they had 21 assists on their 29 made field goals. 7 steals, 2 blocks, 17 turnovers. That's good defense by the Liberty, causing t- um, turnovers and 12 personal fouls as a team for the new york liberty but nigel 28 minutes 11 points two or three from three playing solid defense through on who was she going i think she was guarding mabry at one point guarding kalia also um 11 points three assists three turnovers you got to cut down on those toner turnovers from her plus seven in her minutes brianna stewart Led us in scoring with 21 on 8 of 16 shooting. Double double for her. 12 rebounds, 6 assists. She stuffed the stat sheet. 1 steal, 1 block, and one, only 1 turnover from her. Plus 17 in her minutes. John Quell continues to play good basketball. 18 points, 7 rebounds, 4 assists, 2 blocks. Got to cut down on the turnovers. Uh, 3 turnovers. But it was. We, she led the team in plus minus with a plus 29. Um, the Courtney Vandersloot, the general, five points, six assists, four steals, had three turnovers. We got to cut that down. Um, two or six shooting. We didn't really need her to score too much tonight, just organize the team. Plus nine in her minutes. And to close out the starter, Sabrina Inescu, 19 points, eight assists, five rebounds, five for eight from three. I think they said she's up to 99 threes um, for this season. I think the record they said by it's by Diana Taurasi is somewhere in the 120 plus range. So um, she's on pace to with how many games we got left? They're, they're 23 and six. There's t- about 11 games left. She's on pace. She should be on pace to break that record. Um, for our bench, Kayla Thornton, as I mentioned, she hit some big shots, hit a big three, got a big steal in, off the inbound and layup. Um, seven points for her. Um, Niara Sabley didn't play too much because Steph Dolson's back. Two two minutes, no points, a rebound. Steph Dolson came back. Um, you could see she was trying to get back into the swing. I think she missed some, some wide open shots, but did get on the score sheet. Minus 13 in her minutes, but scored her two points, one rebound. Drew a couple fouls on Kalia Copper um, to get her in foul trouble. Marine Joannis, six points, two rebounds, two steals, um, plus nine in her minutes, which is a good sign. Jocelyn Willoughby, no points in her two minutes. Um, team stats, 51.5% from the field, 52% from three, which is incredible. Got to improve the foul shooting, eight for 12, 66.7%. Had... 34 rebounds compared to how much they had. They had 33, so we did not rebound them by much. 28 assists on 34 made field goals. Nine steals, four blocks. We got to cut down on the turnovers. We had 14, and we had 13 personal fouls. So that was the t- the box score and the team stats for us. As you can see, a very balanced scoring from our starters. Um... No complaints there. Um, we just got to cut down on the turnovers, but otherwise the ball was moving around. Um, people were scoring. They were getting wide open shots. Um, so that's always a positive sign. All right, so let's take a look at the press conference quotes. Um, we'll take a quick look at a few. As always, Miles Ehrlich, one of the beat writers for the Liberty, um, for Windsider. W Insider, however you say it, um, I'll just go to his page, and he usually has a good amount of quotes from the team. So I'll pull it up on the screen so we could take a look. So one of them was Sandy Rondello on turning 19 Sky turnovers into 27 points. Um, Sandy says, quote, we talked about how we track deflections in our activity. We had a pattern interrupt about how we want to play. When we get out and run, 
and get to our shooters, it puts a lot of pressure on the other team. And quote, um, another quote from Sandy Brondella was on J- on JJ's plus 29 in the plus minus effort. Um, quote, just really happy for JJ, really. She's just playing so well at both ends of the floor for us, and that's why we are where we are at the moment. I like the aggressiveness and intent for her to rebound and be a powerhouse on defense, end quote. And to piggyback off that, JJ, since the All-Star break, has really been coming into her own. She's been a beast on the boards, solid on, on the defense, on the help side as well, getting block shots and contributing in scoring. Um, Brianna Stewart on Sabrina Inescu's three-point prowess. She says, quote, it's not surprising, but she continues to shoot with confidence and shoots from all over the place. Some are deep, some are closer to the actual three-point line, end quote. Anytime Sabrina's been shooting the ball recently, I feel like it's going in. Because she's, ever since the she won the three-point contest, she's just been shooting that thing, shooting it, shooting it, and it's been, it's been falling for us. Um, Sabrina Inescu on um, the last time they lost to the Sky, quote, we knew we lost one against them at home, which was big for us. We're just such a different team from the time we played them. We didn't focus so much on that last game because of how we've grown. But in the back of our minds, we knew we lost one, end quote. They were up 19 at one point, up 11 points in the fourth, blew the game. So I knew that that stung. So it, it's funny how we played. Um, we played Minnesota after they beat us at home. We got revenge on them. We played the Aces after they beat us. We got revenge on them. And now the Sky, we play them after they beat us and we get revenge on them. Um, The last two, Sabrina Inescu, quote, it's really the New York Liberty versus the New York Liberty every time we step on the floor and we want to be our best, especially at home in front of our fans, end quote. And the last one, part um, piggybacking off the home court advantage part, Stewie says, quote, home court advantage is really important. When I think about home court, I think about our series in Phoenix in 2018 when she was a part of the Seattle um, storm, um, being able to go back home, end quote. She then turned to Sandy Brundella and said, I'm sorry, it's funny. She's playing. She's talking about a series she played against her now coach back in 2018. She says, quote, we want the people to come to Barclays and have a tough night, end quote. And that's really the gist of it. You really want people to come to your house, want it to be a fortress, want the crowd to be loud, and you want to play well at home. Um, In terms of my thoughts, I've mentioned them already. We got to cut down on the turnovers. We did cause more turnovers for them, but if we can keep our turnovers at the 10 and below range, we'll give ourselves the best chance to win every night. Um, We still got to get more productivity out of our bench on a consistent basis. Um, Our starters are doing their job right now, but we really need players like Marine. Um, When Steph Dawson gets back up to speed, we need her to hit um, that one three she takes and set some solid screens and hit those easy bunny layups when she gets in the paint. Kayla Thornton to continue to shoot those wide open threes when she gets them and play solid defense. And we should be good in that regard. Um, so continuing the to improve on the little things, the defense has been fantastic the past couple games. Can't complain on a five-game winning streak. Um, everything seems to be going well in Liberty Land. Well, that's the end of the recap, guys. Um, we have, we're going on the road, I should say. Uh, excuse me. We're going on the road for the next two weeks. Starting Sunday, we play the Fever in Indiana. Then on Tuesday, we have our Commissioner's Cup final matchup against the Aces in Las Vegas. Then on Thursday, we play the Aces for a regular season game. Then we have a quick turnaround. We drive or fly down to Phoenix to play um, the Mercury on a back-to-back. And then we have a, I think we have a break from then until next until the following Wednesday or Thursday when we play the Connecticut Sun in Connecticut. So we have a bunch of away games coming. This next week is going to be pretty brutal. We got four games 
four games in six days next week. Um, so we need to be prepared to um, give our best effort during these games. The Fever game, they are tough out at home, so we can't sleep on that game. And then we got to put all our all into that Commissioner's Cup final. Um, whoever wins that, of course, wins the Commissioner Cup. But it will probably give us some momentum going into the latter days of the season and into the playoffs. Well, guys, thanks for tuning in. As always, make sure you hit that like button if you like this content. Hit the subscribe button to get notified anytime I post. And uh, hit that noti, noti bell so you can see any notifications pop up on your feed as well. Um, there will be a lot of watch lungs for these away games, so make sure you that noti, noti bell is clicked. And I'll catch y'all in the next one. Salute.